Hey guys, so if you have been watching my channel, I've been throwing in some declutter videos here and there, and basically this is like one of my biggest things that I've been wanting to declutter is my blush and bronzer drawer. I did my highlighters first, and that's usually what I keep in my bottom drawer. Right here, you guys may remember seeing that video recently. What I would ideally like to do is have everything fit in one drawer, but we're not trying to work miracles today, so we'll see how it goes. But I wanted to start with my blush drawer and see what we could get decluttered. So just so you guys know, this is a long time coming. Some of these blushes I've had for a really long time. They don't get a lot of use. So I just want to move them out of my collection, maybe sell the ones I can sell or just toss anything old or declutter them to friends. So that's my disclaimer on that. This is my blush drawer. So let's kind of get started here. I have been eyeing Max New powder play brushes or glow play. I can't remember what they're called, but um, I'm trying really hard to resist the temptation to buy those. So figured if I play with my current blushes, I would get over it pretty quickly here. So this is one of my MAC blushes. I don't have a ton. This is the shade Lovejoy. I think somebody used to talk about this blush back in the day, which is why I bought it. And it's a beautiful, very nude color. So this is really cute. I feel like I should shop my stash and actually keep that one out to try out this week. These two aren't going anywhere. You guys know I love my Nabla highlighters. These are technically highlighters, but these shades are dark enough where I can use them as cheek products. And I love both of these. It's adults only and truth. So I'm keeping those two. Next, I have another blush highlighter hybrid. This is from the brand Melt. This is the shade Genesis. This is why I won't buy that new MAC highlighter that they came out with in the clear packaging. Look at that beautiful peach flip. So I love this. You can pick this up on Melt's website. I think it was on Sephora too. I can't remember. Oh, it's so dirty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't realize how dirty that was. Anyway, I love this blush color. Okay, I have more from Melt. These are, this is their Morte Eterno um, highlighter that they came out with. This is um, Illumination. And I really don't use this a whole lot. It's a lot more glittery than Genesis. Kind of has a sheer base with a pink flip, but super gorgeous and I own it, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. This one I wanted so badly, but now that I have it, of course I don't use it, but this is beautiful. It's very peachy, so I'll have to try that. This is Gamma Ray, and this came out with their Radioactive collection around Thanksgiving, I think. I can't remember what, look at how pretty this is. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put this in my shop, my stash as well to try out because I haven't really tried it very much. So this is a bronzer. It's in the wrong drawer. This is the MAC Give Me Sun. This is honestly like basically a tish too light for me, but I had heard Desi Perkins rave about this, so I bought it too because Desi is pretty close to my skin tone, but yeah, I'm trying to pan it, which is why it has the sticker on it. So probably, you know, I'll keep trying to use that up. So I need to put that in my bronzer drawer, which this is not, this is my blush drawer. Then I have another bronzer. Oh my gosh, this is the Maybelline bronzer. I'm gonna just put bronzers away and we'll talk about them in a different video. So this is the Baked Blush by Wet n Wild. This is pretty. It's like a beautiful pinky shade. Ooh, that's pretty. It's very light though. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna see if I wanna hold on to this for longer. We'll see. That's in the maybe pile. Here's one. Kind of regret buying this, but I've just been like, I wanna love cream products, but I have never really end up having the time to really use them. This is the M Cosmetics Sunset Sky Serum Blush, and it's nice, 
but I think this is kind of for like those no makeup makeup people that love to just have a wash of color on their skin. So I'm gonna keep this because it was expensive and I only got it like last year, but just a word of caution in case you guys were dying to pick this up like I was. It's nice, but it's nothing to die for. I really like the ColourPop Super Shock blushes. These are so nice and they like blend out so nicely on my skin. That's hardly like swatching. Look at how dirty it looks. This is the shade No Vacancy. And then I also have this shade called Tuned In. I really want to buy more of these, but I'm kind of on a ColourPop no buy um, this year. So we'll see if I survive a whole year without buying ColourPop. But yeah, I do really like the Super Shock shadows. So I think I'm gonna keep those. Okay, this is a gorgeous blush by Milt. This is the shade Sundown, and it's so beautiful and neutral, but it has a beautiful shimmer in it. Look at that. Oh, do you guys see that? It's kind of very close to my skin tone, but my face is a lot lighter than my arms, so this really shows up on there. Maybe I should compare it to this one by MAC. Well, they are really quite similar. Let me swatch the MAC one. Okay, so the MAC one is more of a sheen. I think the Melt one has a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm going to keep both and try them out and see which one I like more. I haven't decluttered anything yet. This is going great. Okay, I found another super shock. This is Yes She Did. A beautiful, like neutrally pink shade. I haven't used these in so long. Oh, that's such a pretty color. I really like that. So these might be like one more round. I think if I don't use them this year, I think they're gonna have to go. Okay, I think I'm gonna declutter this. This is the Milk Makeup in Work. Again, I like the idea of cream blushes, but does that mean I use them? No, not really. Actually, that shade is so pretty. It's like a really pretty pink. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to that as well and see if I use it in the next couple of weeks. So Milani Red Vino, this is like one of my favorite just blush shades of all time. Also, it's like beautiful and shimmery and glowy, perfect for my skin tone. Or if you're tanner too, you might really like this color. It's so stunning. Milani Big Blushes are so good. Okay, these two e.l.f. palettes I really, really like. They are so pigmented and drugstore priced and like wonderful. So that's why I have both of them because I thought they were such a good deal. If you guys are balling on a budget, I would totally recommend. And the pans do pop out so you can customize these. I was thinking of getting rid of them because I've just had them for so long. I really like this neutral brown shade in the lighter palette. Looks really good on my skin. Oh, this is hard. Why is this so hard? This color is pretty too. Two really pretty neutral shades. Oh. Oh man. I'm gonna put these in my maybe pile. I'm not sure. Okay, I know I want to get rid of these. I didn't really love these and I hardly used them, but they deserve a new home. Somebody that will enjoy trying them out. These are the ColourPop blush sticks and I bought like a set. So I'm going to declutter all three. We have Bullseye, Aloha, and Under Pressure. And I've literally been waiting to film this video so I could get rid of these. So they're going. Okay, this needs to be in my highlighter drawer. This is Another Nabla Skin Glazing in the shade Amnesia. I don't know why I didn't really need another highlighter, but I was so obsessed with the blushes that I bought it. And it's just a regular old gold champagne color. So that needs to go in the highlighter drawer. This color is so pretty. This is another Wet n Wild blush from their Hummingbird collection. Oh my God looks so good on the screen. Wow, we're keeping it. I really like this. This is a sample of the Bare Minerals 
Bonson Blur in Mauve Sunrise. So little, so cute. Somebody said the new MAC ones are like this. And I like this formula, so I'm even more tempted, but I'm on a blush no buy. So I'm just gonna keep the sample, use the sample, and live my life. I have this NARS palette. I really like this blush shade. Uh, this looks like the new Orgasm X blush. It's like a bright peachy shimmery color. I don't really use these two as much. I feel like this is a maybe because I don't feel like keeping this whole palette just for one blush shade. So this is going in the maybe pile. Okay, so I have Sydney Gray sent me some pigments, so I just keep them back here because I don't really have a place to put them permanently. And then my one last color pop super shock shadow, I'm holding on to telepathy because I loved this shade so much. And then the rest are like my Sydney Grace cream shadows, so gonna take those out for now. Next, I have my Hourglass palette. This is the only one I have left. I had an older one that I recently threw out because it was old. So I have this one. I think I'm going to add this to my Shop My Stash because I haven't used it in a while and I can use the powders on my face as well. So adding that to my Keep Out and Try pile. Little Becca. This is Becca Songbird. This is such a beautiful glowy peachy blush you guys know I'm such a fan of these shades so definitely keeping that okay blush palettes so Juvia's Place blush palettes are so affordable and so nice I'm gonna keep both of these oh this shade so cute love this is a little gem I actually saw this it's on sale now on max website for like 30 bucks it's so cute it came out last year, I think around Thanksgiving, I don't even remember. But these are so pretty and like sheeny shiny blushes and highlights. So if you want it, I would recommend. Those swatches are horrible, but I really, really like those. So I have a little highlighter here again. This is from Sydney Grace. I need to put that in my highlighter drawer. This is like my favorite blush ever. Natasha Denona Alba. Are you guys surprised? It's beautiful, corally, peachy, pigmented blush. Love that so much. And then I have this guy. Another Wet n Wild blush. So pretty. This one's more like a highlighter. It's like a peachy color. But I'll just let it live with my other blushes. This is the Wet n Wild color icon in the shade Blazenberry. Pretty color. Wow, that's stunning. That is so pretty. Wow. Um, I really like that. So I'm going to keep that. This is going great. These I just picked up at the bomb when they were on sale. And I tried one shade and it was so glittery this one is so glittery I didn't love how it looked on my skin tone so this is definitely a maybe and I have two other brand new ones that I've never used so I want to make sure if I like this or don't like this before I try the other ones out I don't want to waste them and use them I'd rather give them away to somebody so this is going in the maybe pile. This is the Rimmel Maxi Blush. This is a really pretty color. It's a drugstore blush that I picked up last year. Mm, I think I can live without that one, so I will put that in my declutter pile. Another gorgeous Milani Bake Blush. This is in the shade Berry Amore. Oh, so pretty. Such a pretty color. It's very pinky. And just like a nice flush of pink on my cheeks. So we're going to keep that. I think I'm going to get rid of this. This is the Natasha Denona Blush and Glow. Little guy that she came out with. I don't really think these are very pigmented. Shades aren't that great on me. So getting rid of that. This is another one of my favorite blushes of all time. This is Kevin Aquan Sunset. Oh, 
you guys, this color just, it gets me, you know what I mean? So I just love a hot coral shade on my skin tone. It's so beautiful and subtle. You can build it up or play it down, but I love this guy. Next we have this guy by Milani. I don't really ever use this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it. This one I bought when Surat was having like major sales on Sephora. Everything was sold out and I was like, oh, a hot coral blush. So I bought it and I like how tiny it is. So what I think I'm gonna do is hold on to it and see if I use it. Otherwise, I'll get rid of it. These flower blushes were so cool back in the day, but I feel like people talk about them less and less now. I really liked this one shade. It was like a beautiful pink gold blush with a beautiful shift. Do you see that? So it's really cute. These two are kind of more neutral. I hardly ever reach for these. I think I'm going to put these in my maybe pile as well. Oh boy, this is the NYX um, blush in Nude to Me. My friend Letitia sent this to me. It's such a beautiful, again, neutral. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. I need to try this out. Putting it in my stash pile. These two, oh boy. So my friends keep raving about Charlotte Tilbury's blushes. So I bought them. I bought Pillow Talk and I bought, this is Pillow Talk and this one is called Sex on Fire. I feel like they're so boring. I don't know, they're so dull looking. These are the two main ones I was considering decluttering when filming this video. And now she has a Pillow Talk Intense, which I feel like might be more suitable for me. I think I'm gonna declutter this one for sure. Pillow Talk, I think I'm gonna try out this week and see what my thoughts are. If I still don't like it, it's gonna go. And last but certainly not least is this little guy from Becca. This is Becca Sweet Pea. It's probably one of my oldest blushes and I still love this so much. Again, I love a good neutrally blush and that's exactly what this is. So I am planning on keeping this forever and ever and ever. I definitely am doing these declutters so I can do an inventory and basically hoping to have less things uh, in the end of 2020. So we'll see how it goes, but yeah, I'm not supposed to buy any blushes this year. So we'll see how all of that pans out, but if you want me to fast forward clean this, just keep watching. And for now, I'm just going to put these back in here because I don't have a better spot for them just yet. And so they can just live in my blush drawer for the time being. So my next video is going to be my bronzer video. So definitely subscribe if you want to see a bronzer drawer declutter. Thank you guys so much for your support on my no buy, my low buy and all my fails and everything. I really appreciate you guys, you know, taking the time to reach out and give me tips and things like that. And wherever you are, I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below and I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye guys.